Okay, Brayden, you got this. Just how you practiced, very quickly. Yo, quarantine is messing the world up, bro. But there's good news. The good news is things are getting canceled. And Cardi B, Castle Light and Locks is fucking canceled. Let's fucking go. So we are on day 10 of uh, quarantine out here. It's almost two o'clock and uh, everyone's still sleeping. <laughs> I'm actually the first awake at 1 p.m. Quarantine makes you do crazy things. Good morning. Morning. What's up? Yeah, awesome. What one? We're gonna try and uh, flip our sleep schedule. So it's that uh, Sunday should be fucking day enough for five hours to sleep. <laughs> Me too, bro. Boys, this is where we've descended. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. I can hear the birthday song already. Happy birthday! Ooh. Well, now it's just a milk. You gotta add the That's shake cool. pot. <laughs> Hey, it's actually turning brown. That's good news. Yeah. <laughs> and now? It works. It works. It works. Shit. Okay. Better than milk, at least. Yeah, and this helps a little bit. Shout out to the olive oil as well. If you don't have an empty bottle of hand wash, are you even doing it right? The weather outside today is horrible. Like, I actually have to wear a hoodie. It's Israel. I thought it was going to be a desert. Uh... What the hell? They've already told. Oh shit. So they've already told us that they have had the most rain they've ever had in a decade this year. And it's ready to gain. I'm so hacked. Ah, the plagues are coming. Oh, there's a basketball court right there, boys. Freedom! Yo, but remember, peeps, you gotta stay positive in a time like this. You know, uh, can't be thinking of ourselves. We've got to be thinking of the bigger picture. We've got to take care of each other. I mean, here in Israel, it looks like they're doing a great job. Since we've been in quarantine, the um, isolation and uh, quarantine regulations have stiffened up, actually. And uh, when we get out, we're going to be lucky enough to be, like, part of the community again. But the community is going to basically be on lockdown like the rest of the world is. So we've been living in these walls for 10 days now. And... Uh, I think I want to pull my skin off. <laughs> Time to break out the 360 camera. Mm. I want to show you guys outside. Thanks, dude. Hey. Hopefully the tree don't break. Okay, that's officially as high as I can go. <laughs> Things that have helped me get through this uh, is like, I got like two or three tips for anyone who's struggling to get through quarantine. Uh, try and wake up early. Don't wake up at 1 p.m. Yeah, that's... <laughs> Don't listen to this guy over here. <laughs> Don't wake up at 1 p.m. Try and get some sun on your skin. You know, uh, wake up early, grab some morning. No, wake up early. Like, sleep in. You know, I'm not your dad. <laughs> get some sun on your skin and do something productive for the day. That's my first tip. Do something productive every day. It doesn't have to be productive. It just has to feel productive. Uh, do some yoga, do a, a workout of some sorts, just uh, it's just to get the blood pumping and some sweat going, and then uh, then I feel like I've done something productive for the day. So it's the next day, and the sky is blue, which makes me very happy. <laughs> I'm cracking out the GoPro again because yesterday's weather did not do the camera justice. So I'm going to try and make my GoPro go even higher than the tree. I'm gonna make a little parachute out of some dental floss and some toilet, uh, like whatever it's called, paper towel. Day 11 of quarantine, we are almost out, but you know, screw that, I don't want to talk about quarantine. What I do want to talk about is how damn happy it feels here. Hello. How are you? Good, how are you? <laughs> Surviving. How many more days do you have? Tuesday, we out. Tuesday? Yeah, Tuesday. <laughs> Very excited. <laughs> yeah. How many days for? Okay, left. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. It's halfway. Halfway. Oh, yeah. Where you are from? Uh, Johannesburg, South Africa. Oh, and uh, you and. Uh, we are from the Philippines. Philippines, okay. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Is it a volunteer or a friend? No, he works here. 
Oh, okay, sweet. <laughs> okay, so he's been here before. Yeah. People are damn happy, man. Oh, it could work quite well as a mask. <laughs> Let's see how this baby does. Are you recording? Okay, yeah, that was a crate. Let's use what's destroying the world the plastic. I'm hoping this camera can show more of your Vata than I can. They have uh, recycling on everything, it seems. It seems that they really take care of the environment out here, so I'm gonna remember to recycle this. Number two, try and avoid screen time. I mean, uh, meditation's good for that. I've been meditating every second day. And uh, yeah, it's just good to get your mind away from all the computer screens and uh, just to think about what's going on. I encourage people to be introspective, you know, like looking within yourself. I mean, I've been figuring out a lot of stuff about myself just because I've been given the time. And uh, now that you have the time, you know, look inside. I realign my, uh, my motivations for being here. I uh, almost feel like this is a, a positive way to start my new adventure because I get like a two week holiday just as everything slows down. I can think about my life realize what's happening and uh yeah you know finding out what's motiv what motivates me and, and what's going to keep me here oh, yeah tip number three wear your damn masks or self-isolate you know stop being stop being that person i mean south africa who's going to listen to the rules anyway south africa was screwed i mean we have people dancing around like this <laughs> oh, no. oh, no. I would like to jam to that too, that sounds lit. <laughs> but to stay at home, <laughs> enjoy the memes online. Enjoying the memes like this, like shout out Tottenham fans. This one was hilarious. <laughs> Woolworth shelves are empty, people are fighting over toilet paper. Yo, <laughs> we finally found a way to piss white people off and get their attention. <laughs> I mean, if only they could fight this hard for black liberation and climate change, the same way they fight for toilet paper. To be honest with you, I've been thinking about what I can put in this video for the last week and I haven't figured out and it's been difficult. You know, uh, everyone's doing a quarantine video. You know, I feel like there's a lot of things that people push off for like a, a better time and there is no better time like the present. You know, read that book, learn that hobby, um, start working out, I don't know, do something that's good for you. It's a... Uh, you know the, the working world it hogs our lives and makes us do something that doesn't really make us closer to our soul and that's what something i really believe in is that you've got to get as close as you can to your own soul and you do that by self-loving and and appreciating the world around you and uh you know showing love because it takes a special person to show love when there is none hey i've always wanted to do that sort of transition i think it's so cool <laughs> Uh, day 12 of quarantine, Sunday, it's basically Monday for all of you back home, you know, uh, here in Israel. Saturday is the only weekend we get. Uh, I know the video didn't have a lot of great content. I tried to make you laugh where I could, but uh, the next video, I'm going to put my heart and soul into it. Okay, quarantine. Quarantine had me here for a while and uh, I really wanted to make a video, but I didn't really have much to show. So uh, the next video, I've got some great ideas. I hope you guys are ready for it. You know, I'm on almost 400 subscribers. Uh, the goal at the moment is to get to a thousand subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed, it's not that hard to make an account. Please do so. Please subscribe. Please show your support. I uh, really appreciate it. And yeah, I'll see you guys very soon. I love you. Bye.